I took a Google Ads shopping campaign with a poor ROAS of only 1.5 all the way up to over $8 in 14 days. And I did it by fixing one simple mistake. My name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. In this video, I'm gonna show you what the issue was, how to fix it, and how you can also fix your Google Ads shopping campaign, improve performance, and get more money into your bank account in under three minutes. Let's go. Firstly, let's just confirm those results. So you can see here, we took on this account on the 1st of October, and I'm showing these results from the last 14 days of the month compared to the first 14 days of the month. So you can see in this time period, we increased that conversion value by over 2,450. Biggest thing we saw that increase in the conversion rate, but look at this, this ROAS, we took it all the way up to that 8.28. And essentially what that means is that for every dollar in Google Ads spend, they were getting over $8 in return. But the biggest thing I also want to point out is that we actually did this by reducing their budget. The other thing that I wanted to show you is that this is actually a long-term result. So you can see here on this monthly breakdown, this yellow line through here, their ROAS was at, was at 1.66, September is 1.43, and then in October, it shot up to 4.2. Remembering that was for the whole month, but as we sort of said in the previous screen, is that in that last two weeks, we got that up to over $8. So right now, what I wanna break down is the biggest mistake in this account. I see this time and time again, especially in shopping campaigns, but in a lot of campaigns is that people don't understand how important audiences are to your overall account performance. I would even say that adding audiences and doing your proper audience reviews, it can be the single greatest tool to quickly increase your account performance. So what I wanna do on the remainder of this video is to show you how you go through and add in those audiences, but more importantly, how you actually go in and optimize those audiences so that you can see increased results in your campaign very, very quickly. To run this check in your account, the first thing that you wanna go into is you wanna go into your campaigns, select the campaign section, and then you wanna go into this audience tab. Once you've gone into this audience tab, you'll see this screen come through. Now, obviously in this account, we've already added in your audiences. Now, if you get this scenario where you see nothing listed here, it means that you don't have any audiences added to your campaign. So the first step is very easily, you need to go into edit audience segments. You can then choose to select them either by the campaign or the ad group. I'll generally select them by the campaign, but you can do either. And then from there, it's just a matter of going through and looking and finding for some different audiences that you may wanna add. Google will go through and recommend some for you. But the biggest point I wanna recommend here is that we're actually using the observation method. And what that means is that we're not blocking off those other audiences we're just getting the data on the audiences that we are targeting. Now down the track, if you find a couple of audiences, a selection of say 10 to 20 audiences that you know are real money winners, you may wanna switch that over for targeting, but for the time being, we're happy to keep it in observation. So once you've got those audiences, select the blue tick boxes and then add them into your audience. What you will have to do there is that you do need to wait at least 14 days to start getting some initial data through. Once you've got that initial data through, what you do wanna look at, and Google will generally not include the search impression share column. So if you don't see it in there, you can obviously just go through and add in that column. But the reason for why I add that and what I'm looking at is I'm looking at a couple of metrics. So I've gone through and already added in these bid optimizations and we did this at the 14 day mark. What I'm looking at is I'm looking at the core KPIs and especially because this is an e-commerce campaign, we're wanting to generate product sales. I'm looking at the conversion rate, the cost per conversion and the conversion value per cost or the ROAS. And what we're looking at here is if I see any of these which are getting high conversions at a low cost per conversion at a really good ROAS or conversion value cost, I'll then go through and add in an increased bid optimization. Now what bid adjustments are, that actually lets you increase or decrease your bids. So essentially what we're doing is we're saying to Google, we wanna target more traffic to users within these top performing audience segments, which for us was luxury shoppers, 
Funnily enough, family film fans and also hair care products. Now, an important thing to note, this was actually a hair care products. So don't only add audiences within your niche because you just don't know how some of those other audiences are gonna perform. So once you've got some confirmation markers there, it's just then a matter of increasing your bid adjustments. Now, rewinding back to why I said you should also add in that search impression share, we've actually added this. Now, when we added this in, our search impression share was in and around about that 40%. That's why we added in the bid adjustment. So I now know because we're hitting up at around about that 95 and 94% search impression share, we've maxed out that audience. So there's no point in me adding in any extra bid adjustments higher than 30%. But for some of these other ones, I've just started scaling them up at 5% because we're still waiting for some more data to come through, but I know these are going to be successful. So that's just a really quick tip on how you can use audiences to skyrocket your campaign. Right now, why don't you go into your Google Ads campaign, see if you've got those audiences added. If they're not added, make sure you add them, then you can come back in in 14 days and start adding in those bid optimizations to improve your account performance. If this quick teaching has been of value to you, can you please do me a big favor and like and subscribe to this channel so that you can get notified every time we release these new optimization tips for your Google Ads campaign. Also, in the description section of this video, I've given you a free gift, and that's my optimization checklist. All you need to do is click on that link, and that'll take you through to an option where you can sign up and receive my free optimization checklist, which will take you through the step-by-step -step process that I use even today to optimize all of my Google Ads campaigns. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.